Hello guys, welcome to FX Beethoven Forex Argo Recorded. My name is JD. Today is a day of a strategy that will launch you. So guys, uh, today I'm going to discuss this strategy because uh, I believe uh, after backtesting a rejection block or deep pullbacks, you've seen a, in some cases you are not willing to see that. The market is not touching your rejection block, then it continues to go higher. So how how can you react to that how can you trade that market condition well so today uh, as you can see we have uh, we have two patterns here right so the first pattern is all about rejection block as we talked about in our previous video if you didn't watch the video make sure you check the channel there is a video called rejection block talk about rejection block right uh, the latest, the previous video, right? Now, today, we are going to discuss uh, a classic break and retest. Right here. As you can see, you have, uh, we have a, a smiling emoji and you have a very disgusting look here of this emoji, right? So, uh, we, have, we don't have a green light here. So, we are going to turn, to turn this uh, red light to a green light. I'm going to show you how you can trade the market in this condition, right? So make sure you follow carefully and also make sure you follow us, <laughs> right? So this is our Telegram channel, FX Beethoven. So there are people who are trying to impersonate us. So make sure you stay away from them. FX Beethoven, you can see how uh, our username is written. So make sure you spell it correctly if you're going to follow our channel. And if you are going to send us a private message, make sure you use this username, JD underscore one, as you can see, or WhatsApp number. And then remember to read this Bible verse because it's going to help you. Yeah, it's going to help you. Trust me. You have to believe in God, right? So we are going to discuss this concept. Make sure you follow carefully. Once you finish watching the video, make sure you go to the chat and start back testing. Spend enough time trying to see different break and retest and try to see how perfect it is or how imperfect it is. And then you will be able to correct some mistakes or to come up with your own ideas and then start growing. That's it. This is what you want. The purpose is to grow. The purpose is to make money. Right? So let's get started after this intro video okay folks uh this video is not going to be long it will take uh, a short time so we are going to um, to use uh, this simple example from nasdaq Maybe you can use this current market structure, right? You can use this current market structure. So as you can see uh, from the beginning, after breaking this level, let's say, let me show what I'm trying to teach you. After, after market has broken a previous level right here, you can see it was creating a pullback, a pullback, right? A pullback pullback was trying to hit a rejection block a rejection block right here as you can see market was trading on this rejection block then start going higher you can see the movement you can see the movement so if we are using daily time frame if we are using daily time frame for example here we can easily see that we have a rejection block here. We have a rejection block on this level. Then market try to push down. As you can see, market tried to push down, but it didn't hit our rejection block. Mm, this is a missed opportunity, I understand, right? It is stopped here. So how do we know another zone to look for this reaction? Right? How do we know another zone to look for here? Where we look for this reaction? 
Hope you understand what I mean. Now, the same here, you've got another rejection block. As you can see, but market did not touch the zone. Market did not touch the zone. Let me add a full screen, right? So market did not touch the zone, as you can see. So this is a missed opportunity. This is a missed opportunity. If you can look at it here carefully, you can see market did not touch the zone. Market did not touch the zone here, right? Maybe you can uh, adjust the line a little bit somewhere around here. You can see this candle did not touch our rejection block, right? So this is a missed opportunity, right? So we, we have lost, we have taken one opportunity here. We didn't see another one here. We didn't see another one here. Mm, it's a bad day, it's a bad week, it's a bad month, right? You understand? So, but how do we approach the market when price is behaving this way? Right? Here we have got opportunity on this level. Market is reacting to this rejection block for another push to the upside. So this is another opportunity here that is formed after this one we have here. But look, it's a longer time and we need to keep trading. How do we go about this? This can be seen as a classic break and retest, right? This level can be seen as a classic break and retest. So when I say a classic break and retest, I simply mean when the price, for example, is going higher, goes down, goes higher, breaking the zone, market creates a pullback, on that zone, and then it goes higher without returning back all the way down. This is what we call a classic break and retest. Market is retesting this zone. Right? So, this is a classic break and retest here. Hope you understand what I mean. A shallow pullback, right? So, how do we approach market this way? How do we identify another opportunity here? in case market is doing what? In case market is going to go higher without, without coming back to our rejection block. Hope you understand what I mean, right? So this way we are going to study. For the first time, we talked about rejection block. And, then, and as of now, I believe everyone understand why um, NASDAQ is buying from here. NASDAQ is buying from here. Everyone understand why Nasdaq uh, was buying from here. Hope you understand. Hope you understand. Now, something I want to teach you here is this. So you are going to follow me carefully as I draw this drawing. Every time you're going to study any strategy, make sure you train yourself on drawing a pattern before you even... Uh, try to identify it in your chart, right? Make sure you understand how to draw it before you try to, to, to identify it in your chart. Hope you understand what I mean, right? So you are going to have market going higher, market goes down, market goes higher. So this is your structure. Your addition block is going to be here right? Somewhere here on this level. Now, market's going to drop, right? We have seen, we are expecting market to come back to our rejection block in order to go higher, but it doesn't happen. Market is simply performing a classic break and retest, and then it goes higher. As you can see here, do you see this? Market is breaking the zone and it comes back to test the zone and then it goes higher mm. you are missing opportunity because we trade what we trade a uh, rejection block we're waiting for market to come back to our zone so when i say rejection block understand that rejection block can be anywhere this is depending on the time frame where we start from 
So we started from the daily time frame, and the daily time frame was showing us rejection block here. But there are so many rejection blocks here as the market is moving higher. Hope you understand. Now, this is a zone for a classic break and retest. So how do we react on this level? Here is the secret. So you remember for the first time we talked about um, we talked about uh, primary zone, secondary zone. If you remember, if you watch videos about the ranges, right? everything we talked about has a, has a relationship, right? Has a relationship. You have to remember. You have to remember everything we discussed in our channel, right? So here we have a zone. What you have to do is to study a transition zone you have here. A transition zone you have here. Where market changed, changed from an uptrend to a downtrend. Where market changed from an uptrend to a downtrend. I'm using a bullish scenario. So if we are bearish, we will be looking for a market change from a downtrend to an uptrend. This time we are bullish, we are looking for a zone where market change from an uptrend here to a downtrend. So how did this pullback started, if you understand? How we came up with this pullback? It will be formed because there is, um, there is a structure that was broken. <laughs> if I can express that, that way. Right? So meaning, what I mean is this. So price will be pushing higher on this level. Price will be pushing higher on this level. And then, for example, it will break. So there is a high. There is a low here. There is another high. Then we have a break. If we change from this time from to another, if we change from time frame to, let's say this is H4 time frame, and we are going to use like one hour time frame, we are going to see more structure. More structure. Shit. Sorry guys, wait a bit. Let me use a, a simple drawing here. So we have a structure. We have a structure forming on this area. have a structure forming like this. Look at this. Let's say we have another retreat structure forming on this area. It goes higher and then it blacks and then it continues to go higher. So this is what I'm trying to, to tell you, right? So here we have a little structure that was broken in order to form this pullback. In order to form this pullback. If you remember secondary zone, you remember. So this is the zone you have here. We will go to the chart, we'll be able to see it. We will go to the chart, we'll be able to see it. This is the zone, right? So this is the area we are looking for opportunity. This is the area where we are going to look for opportunity for a classic break and retest. For a classic break and retest, right? Sometimes market will violate the zone a little bit and we will have lots of stuff to look for in this area, which I'm not going to discuss right now in this video. We'll discuss it maybe later in future, right? But what I mean is this Mark this zone every time you, you approach any chart and you see a trend is forming and you see this, is for, you see this kind of structure of breaking it is likely to form. Make sure you mark that area. Make sure you mark that area. Oh. Just do something like this. Press the pushing higher. This is our time frame. Market is moving higher. So as long as you have a pullback, it's going to be kind of a shallow pullback. 
like this make sure you have what make sure you have marked this level here where market broke the structure before going down so what are we expecting we are expecting this push to trade on this area to trade on this area in order to in order to go higher in order to go higher so you understand what i mean a classic break and retest this is how you should approach it right there are more there are more there are more there are more stuffs <laughs> but at least now understand this a classic break and retest when the market is trending use it when the market is trending guys and you follow the trend right and avoid to use it during reversal zones just use it when the market is trending and remember the trend is your friend right so back to to nasdaq so what i'm trying to to tell you is this simply change the time frame study transition zone on this level where market is switched from uh, where market switched from this uptrend to this downtrend this is what we call a transition zone the same we have an uptrend forming here then you see a downtrend forming for a pullback so stay this zone where you where you have a change of a trend right this is a transition zone the same another push to the outside then you have what you have where market start dropping down to create a pullback so stay this zone of a transition and mark the chart the way i have i'm done showing you right so when market is is breaking the zone then it comes back and you're going to retest that zone right especially market is trending when the market is doing what when the market is trending right so when the market drops here for example you have to know what you have here for a simple classic break and retest right maybe before you do pull back comes as you can see right so remember that remember that don't take it simple okay you may say it's simple but there is no joke in this guys this is this is this is a powerful strategy and i want you to master it i want you to understand this i want you to use it back test it different pairs right to back test it come to any chart come to the chart choose a zone like this try to study the move right like this a break a pullback how can you catch this cell what so we are going to change the time frame let's go to h4 time frame let's go to h4 time frame we are switching from the time frame to h4 time frame look at this we have this is the zone for your rejection block. You remember where we start from. This was a classic rejection block for a quick move to the outside. After this break here, market breaking this level, a quick push to the outside, right? So your job, you have a rejection block somewhere here. But you see market is doing what? Market is retesting this is all so use the same formula i'm done teaching you to identify area of reaction right so this time remember these are h4 time frame candles right but remember our interest was on the daily time frame so we are going to discuss on these areas here we have a high low high low high low that's it that's it. Remember on the daily time frame, if we go back to the daily time frame, this is what you're going to see. We are focusing on this zone. We are not focusing on this retail time frame. Our purpose was here. So, meaning, meaning, what I'm teaching you can be formed 
on any time frame on any time frame it's time frame independent right regardless of any time frame you are using you are going to see the same pattern you're going to see the same structure <laughs> because the price is a fractal what you see on her time frame is what you can see on our time frame so after watching this video don't message me asking me if this strategy can work on any time frame on your time frame for example it works everywhere right you your duty or your 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 responsibility is to do what is to know how you are going to switch from one time frame to another for example i'm on a daily time frame i cannot go to one hour or or i cannot go to one hour uh, or or m15 while skipping h4 no when i say h4 i mean four hour right so i have to switch to four hour before i go to one hour right in the case for example i want to do more refinement right so this is h4 time frame this is h4 time frame now let's play the game try to see now in our zone so this time this time if you are going to use this method make sure that you use line chart we want to use candlestick body if you're going to identify this area of reaction we have to use candlestick body the way we did it on rejection block remember on rejection block we place a line on a candlestick body the same here we use a line chart to choose the right zone this is the rule every strategy will have a rule <laughs> so this is a rule we use the line chart to choose a zone so if we change to line chart you can clearly see our structure you can clearly see our structure for example right here you have look at this level you have a high maybe or use a different color so that you can you can see it so i have i have a high use a line chart the line chart is we always show we always show you the close price oh shit am i drawing so let me use this tool so i have i have a high i have a low here i have a high i have a low As you can see i have a high i have a low I have a high then we break we break <laughs> guys now once we break the structure we end up with our our pattern we are looking for right look market went higher now place your line right here right here don't ask me um how can i say don't ask me an, if i can say unnecessary questions i don't know it's not the right word to use but uh trust the analysis if i can say just do it the way i'm showing you right so place your line here because if market is not going to give you a deep back to rejection block your market is likely to react to your zone there are so many technical names we use in the mentorship with the student but uh, i'm not going to use them here right i'm simply showing you uh, them because you have so many concepts to discuss so here and then we go higher you're going to look for reaction here if you are using wyckoff you're going to use to, to look for accumulation here that is going to form as the price is going higher right so what i mean is this here you are going to place your 
line here and this level. Look at this accuracy. Look at this accuracy. Let me delete this so that you see it. So look at this. Look at accuracy in this. Look at accuracy in this. Place your line here as I'm showing you. And then if you're going to look for Y call for whatever, looking for it as market is dropping down here, it will be forming one for you. Hope you understand. Hope you understand. The same market goes higher, market breaks our high. Then we are expecting market to come back to a rejection block or to this area. So what we have to do, you simply do what? You simply press your line here on this level and then you wait, you wait for price to touch your zone. You wait for price to touch your zone. The same here, you have your zone here, as you can see. Because this is a recent break we have on this level. We are waiting for market to touch this area. But if we see, remember this, if you see the structure is too long, like this here, you can switch to another time frame to find another break just for refinement. For refinement, there will be another structure here that will be broken for price to test it. For example, here, we will see that. I will show you that. Why? So, if we remember one thing, a line chart, a line chart, or if you are good at using candlesticks and you are able to see the candlestick closure, the body, the body of the candlesticks, then use that. Use that, why? Right? As you can see, uh, market is using what? Market is react to the candlestick body right here. Do you see how crazy this strategy is? Are you still complaining, guys? Right? Are you still complaining? This is the zone. This is the zone, right? This is the zone where market is going to react. You see that perfect reaction? See that perfect reaction? So I was uh, thinking of teaching you daily cycle and the session cycle, but I cannot teach you that if you don't understand the structure because structure is the one that we define how the next day is going to behave, right? The cycle, how the cycle is going to behave. So. You need to do what? You need to understand this stuff. You need to understand this stuff. Right? If you need to understand this stuff. At least this one, especially when the market is trending, can help you a million times. So how about this is all? You can change to one hour, 30 minutes to see what is going on there. Well, in some cases, you need to do even further refinement depending on how far market was going and how you see the pullback. You see this kind of a compression, compressing, compressing. It doesn't move like this, like a quick movement, meaning it did not go very far. Right? So, let me show you where market was reacting. Me using a total time frame like M15. Try to see in this area how to choose the right zone. You can use line chart or you can simply look at structure, look at those base candlestick, base candle, or this kind of rejection block you see here that was violated. Um, I mean this area. This is where we have a break. We have a break here on this candle. We have a break on this candle. If we turn a line chart, you can easily see. You have a break here, right? You have a break on this candle. So you need to mark these zones 
and the ones you have on her time frame but based on nature the ability to trade the market involves understanding uh, that market to re be creating different behaviors and your job is to to react to different um, scenario to any scenario the market is giving so I hope you understand so here this is the song this is the song try to see the magic try to see the magic Try to see the magic, guys. Try to see perfect reaction, a beautiful accumulation forming, and then the market is going higher. Then the market is going higher. See. Hope you can see that. Hope you can see that. Hope you can see that right here. Do you see it or or not? Try to see the behavior. Remember, this was a trade on rejection block. Perfect deep pullback here. Remember on her time frame. Then you have classic break and retest, classic break and retest, classic break and retest right here. As you can see. Hope this makes sense, guys. My intention is not to make this video too long. You can use this method, especially on NASDAQ or any pair that is trending very fast. It can help you a lot, a lot, a lot. But this is going to, f to form on Euro USD, GBP USD, gold, uh, whatever, cryptocurrencies. Go and test it. You are going to see that. You are going to see that, right? Hope you understand. So, your job mark the zone try to see momentum accumulation forming a beautiful accumulation forming here accumulation forming here then the market is trending on the rejection block we have here a beautiful accumulation forming beautiful wake of accumulation forming here and the market after hitting market is hitting the zone with a beautiful spring of wake of schematic and then it is going higher, right? So, I hope you understand what we mean by th this method. I hope you understand what we mean by this method, right? I hope you understand what I mean. So, now, you can remove this r red emoji and you can put a green emoji that you understand what to do when price is touching a zone like this. When price is touching a zone like this, right? Go to any pair, back test it. You are going to see that, right? Back test it. There are many concepts to discuss. There are so many stuffs to look left here. When market is trading here, there are so many stuff to look left on this area. For example, in the chart is here. What you, what are you going to look for here? And what are we going to look for here on this side? Yeah? There are so many stuffs. So if market decide to, to create a push to downside here, so what are we going to look for here to generate a signal where market will buy from here? Those are other secrets, <laughs> guys. Those are other secrets that we need to, we need to understand. Right? So this is JD forever make sure you backtest this concept make sure uh if you enjoyed the, the, this video make sure you subscribe to this channel because i'm gonna drop more stuffs this time i'm going to create a video for those who keep asking me how to count the pips because i don't teach that i don't teach that you must have a, a general understanding or you must have a basic understanding of forex before you join me all right so i'll be creating a video for you guys about how to count the pips what is the leverage whatever hope you understand i'm not talking about entries on this area i'm simply showing you a uh, area of reaction area of reaction 
areas of the action. Hope you understand. Hope you understand. By now, I hope you understand the rejection block. Because it's, I created a good video for you. You should understand it. You should understand why market was buying here. Now we are adding this concept. Why market can perform a shallow pullback. Classic break and retest. Why, market, why Nasdaq is buying from here? Because you have a higher time frame rejection block. Right here. This is a rejection block. The market is buying from it. Right? So, I hope you understand this. And again, make sure you follow us on Telegram. I will put the links in the description video. Make sure you click the links and then connect to us either on Telegram or WhatsApp or whatever. And then keep enjoying the journey. And remember, do not stop learning. Uh, keep pushing. Keep pushing and keep pushing. Thank you guys. Um, until next time, uh, good luck and a good trading.